Yeah. All right, we are here at the Mezco Toys booth at San Diego Comic Con 2022, taking a look at some of the stuff they have on display. A nice mix of old stuff and a bunch of new stuff sprinkled in. So we're gonna take a look at mostly the new stuff and then we'll kind of glaze over the other stuff, which is pretty much gonna read like my collection video from a few weeks ago. Basically the entire 112 Collective collection is on display here across all of their lines. We're gonna move in and take a look at some of the newer stuff right here, such as the Morbius, which is up for pre-order already or has been up for pre-order. Taking a look at a prototype here at the booth. Looking really cool. Very nice stout look to him with the vinyl pieces on the soft goods suit. Looking really cool with the claws and the gritted teeth. Mormon time. And then we got Ghost Rider with the Hell Cycle, which should be, we are in the window for it, so we should be getting him pretty soon. We shall see. Maybe after Wolverine, we'll see this Ghost Rider, but much improved on the soft goods from what I can tell. Looks a lot like the Gig from Hell box set. Really nice leather material on that. Great flame effects on the Hell Cycle. Looking really awesome. Moving over to some more new stuff. We've seen Doctor Strange. Bishop, also a recent pre-order. Hopefully we'll be getting him later this year. Taking a look at one of the prototypes they have on display here. Looking really nice with that blast effect there and the gritted teeth, the bright eyes. Love the raised vinyl pieces on the soft goods suit there. Really good detail to that Bishop. If we zoom out even more, you can see this is the entire Marvel shelf right here. Pretty much the entire history of the 112 Collective line is on display here at San Diego. But again, we are focusing mostly on the new stuff which includes the classic Spider-Man, which has been up for pre-order for a couple of weeks, now waitlisted. Looking really nice with the Ditko-inspired eyes. You can really see the articulation on this suit maximized. Good natural creases there with the raised leg. And then moving over to the DC side of things for some more new things on display. We have the deluxe edition Man of Steel Superman over here. Obviously another prototype, but looking really good so far. I love the sharpness of the suit, the stitching on the trunks, the belt loops. The vinyl piece on his chest looks really nice. Really great expression and very detailed head sculpt there with the cheekbones. Looking really good, a very good interpretation of a classic Superman. And moving down to some new, new stuff, never before seen here. Not even as a pre-order, not even as a tease. We're seeing it for the first time here at the show. It is a classic Batman variant. Of course, we've had the Golden Age Batman from the two-pack with Two-Face over there. This seems to be largely the same Batman, but now in the black and gray colorway, which I'm sure a lot of people have been asking for after that original blue and gray version. This looks really good. You can see that stand also has the black and white Batman logo. I would imagine this could be this year's Batman Day exclusive, but of course, just speculation on my part. We don't know quite for sure. No details on the placard or anything like that. But either way, this is probably one of the more classic colorways of Batman that a lot of people have been waiting for. And I think they are really gonna deliver with this guy. This looks fantastic. Now some more new stuff that is technically still up for pre-order. It is Mr. Freeze Deluxe Edition. Looking much improved from the last time we saw him at another con. Hard to see his actual face underneath there, but you can see the quilting to the suit looks really good. The vinyl pieces, the difference in materials there looks really, really nice. You can see his freeze gun there as well, which I don't think we've seen this version of physically or maybe in the pre-orders. Either way, that looks really good. Nice clear dome there. You can see right through there to see his actual face. I think that looks really, really nice. Great design for Mr. Freeze. And now we've got Constantine, which hopefully will be coming later this year as well. Not displayed with the guns that he was originally solicited with, but you can see he's got the spell effect and the cards. That looks really, really nice. That battle damage face. Of course, Mezco's always really good with the trench coats and suited characters. This is a nice mix of both. And looks like we've got some bendy wires there in the straps of the trench coat, and I think that looks really good to give him a dynamic look. Love that spell effect on him as well. Very excited for this Constantine. And then if we move down, we will see an old familiar face right here. Hopefully coming soon, but the long delayed Batman 1989 edition, Michael Keaton himself. This honestly does look like one of the older prototypes. I don't see a lot of changes or improvements based on what we've seen at other shows. Either way, Batman 89 is here. It looks like he is still promised to be coming. He's not just disappeared from the pre-order schedule. Nice to have, actually have him on display here so that we know that he is in fact coming. And if it's taken this long to show him off even at a show, hopefully that means there's more improvements coming over this prototype here. This Batman 1989 edition, I think is gonna be worth the wait when we finally get it. Looking pretty cool. And now we have the Snyder Cut three pack over here. Zack Snyder's Justice League deluxe steel box set. Starting with the Batman, which has a new head portrait with that kind of sharper cowl. The suit looks much like the Batman vs Superman version, but now we have the new gauntlets with the laser beam deflecting gauntlets there. That looks really cool. I think uh, this probably still is an early prototype because the original solicitation had sort of the padding to the suit. Not seeing a lot of that here. This looks maybe a 
like the BVS Batman that we saw originally with the new head sculpt and the new gauntlets. Hopefully when we get it in hand, it'll have those improvements to be more accurate to the suit on film. And here is Ezra Miller Flash right there. One thing I'm noticing between all three of these guys right here is that much improved on the actual head sculpts as well. And you can definitely tell that with Henry Cavill, but Ezra Miller, really nice skin tone to him. Nice armor pieces over the vinyl of the bodysuit. I think that's a really great looking Ezra Miller flash. Despite what you might think of Ezra Miller himself, I think this is a fantastic interpretation of this character and this suit from this movie. And finally, Henry Cavill Superman. Again, huge improvement on that head sculpt over the Batman versus Superman. Henry Cavill, that is looking really sharp. Looks like we got a bendy wire to the cape now too. Really sharp black with the silver accents. That looks fantastic. Very excited for the Snyder Cut 3 pack. And now we're going to get into the Rumble Society displays here. First off, before we get into the new stuff, just want to show off the actual displays that they have of some of the characters. Characters we've seen before, but displayed in cool battle poses here on this set that they have in these middle display cabinets. Such as the White Skull Agent down there and Atticus Doom. Doc Nocturnal doing battle with the Black Mold Moss Squash, looking fantastic there. Great posing, as always. We know who did that. And we've got Captain Nemo down here, bringing up the rear. And now we'll get into the actual Rumble Society display case, which has a lot of familiar faces and just a couple of new things, pre-orders that we've had open, as is the running theme here, but now shown on display, giving us an idea of what they might look like when we actually get them in hand. In particular here, the Black Skulls Death Brokers, looking really cool. Absolutely love the reuse of the Casino Gomez here. You can see they have the boot knife as well, with those nice sharp suits. Very bright green pop on all these guys, looking really cool. More of a matted skull rather than the glossy skulls we got with the original Black Skulls Death Brigade. So love that key difference and love how these are gonna come out. If this is anything like they're gonna come out, I think these are gonna be really cool and very good enemies for our Casino Gomez. And then another middle display case over here with the Army of Krieg doing battle. The Blood Force over here doing battle against Gold Commander Gomez here. And then down at the bottom, we have the Pale Drivers Krieg. And then up on the other side here, we got Baron Benz doing battle with the Blood Force Krieg, looking really cool. And swinging back around to get the second Rumble Society case that they have over here. Again, a lot of familiar faces, but we're going to mostly focus on the new stuff down here, which includes Captain Nemo with the Wave Rider and accessory set. You can see he's got the red trident. He's on the Wave Rider. He's got that new furry vest on there, the new goggles. Really, really cool. Love the scaling of this. Can't wait to get that in hand. Love that he's on the flight stand and actually get him in that Wave Rider position. And of course, we've also got the Nautilus crew members down here on display, giving us an idea what these will look like again when they come out. It does seem like only one of them is gonna have that peg leg, which is really cool. Hopefully we get that boot to interchange so that we can accurately display them like this with just the one crew member with the peg leg and the other guys with their regular boots. Great head sculpts on these, a lot of sharp details to them. Can't wait to complete our Nautilus crew. Those look fantastic. It's the last day of the show. They've actually put out some new stuff here in the miscellaneous section at the Mezco booth since preview night. So we're going to go through and check those out, even though I already recorded this segment. We do have the concept alien and the regular alien, both using that seamless body. Looked super clean, very nice shiny wet look to them. Translucent clear dome. You can see the skull right through it. Pretty awesome stuff. We got the Predator here from the original Predator movie. You can see the real netting on that and the mesh on the eyes for the light up LED feature on the helmet. Love that pleather sort of suede with the loincloth they have on him. That looks super clean. That real mesh netting on him looks super nice. And we also have the Solomon Kane, looking really cool. Witch Hunter, dope effect on the torch. Love the soft goods on him. A lot of good layering on him and difference of materials. Very nice textures all throughout the costuming on him. Really dope. And then here's a new line that they're introducing here at the booth San Diego Comic-Con 2022. This is Mezco's Kaiju Collective. Sort of an equivalent to the 112 Collective before the Kaiju line. Looking at a new seamless body on these guys with a metal armature inside. As you can see on the placard, 24 points of articulation. The jaw will move. Who knows if it's going to have some actual blast effects for the mouth. That would be really cool. Really big length on him. 8 inches tall, 14 from teeth to tail. It's a beautiful looking Godzilla. And then keeping it in the Kaiju realm, it's the 112 Ultraman. Very shiny silver on him, the LED eyes and chest kind of give him a big look. So he maybe looks a little puffy on this one, but hopefully once we get the actual one in hand, that gets slimmed down just a little bit. But it, to their credit, does look exactly like a dude in a costume. So that looks awesome. Roadblock from G.I. Joe, very dope. Originally, I think it 
a lot of people were thinking that it was going to have single jointed elbows, but we're seeing it here now and again on the Death Dealer in just a moment that he's in fact going to have double jointed elbows. So they must have gone back and made some new barbarian arms for this body, and that looks really, really clean. I talked to Lenny from the G.I. Joe team at Hasbro, and he also really digs this roadblock. Said it's just different enough from the one that they're making over there, so he's going to have to double dip, being the G.I. Joe fan that he is, of course. Super clean look on that roadblock. Those cargo pants, yeah, that looks great. Conan the Conqueror, you know, the second version of Conan that went up with the Barbarian Booster Kit. Now with those furry boots down there. The new belt that was on Death Dealer as well, and the blue tunic. Been really dope with that helmet. New screaming expression. Very tight. Love that he has new weapons as well. It's going to be great to be able to have both Conans and then put the Barbarian Booster Kit on the original one. Very excited to do that. And yes, the aforementioned Death Dealer. Look at that chainmail on him. If we like the chainmail on that original Conan, you can just see how they've gone even more ham on this one. Huge piece of chainmail there for the skirt. Lots of great detailing on him. The light up head. The eyes aren't on right now, but that is in fact the light up head. Looking straight out of that Frazetta artwork. And then a couple just new things down here that were on display before, but here is the Crow, 112 the Crow, looking super nice. Noticing now that he has the boots that were used on the Gig From Hell box set, one of the pink skulls, has those boots with the tongue down, so that's actually very clever reuse. And I'm really digging the uh, difference in materials between the pleather and the regular cloth parts. Really great details on that, the Crow. And then... I believe finally we do have the deluxe edition leather face bloody smock and the bloody chainsaw looking really dope if we actually zoom in on the face you can see the detail on the face underneath the leather face mask and that looks really nice if we can get it to focus of course but yeah that's going to be super clean when it comes out also double jointed elbows on him which was a point of contention when it first went out for pre-order it wasn't clear from the photos seeing it here now it does look like he is going to have double jointed elbows very sick love that leather face can't wait to get him And then a few other miscellaneous things. This is the Static 6 Red Pyramid thing, which we have seen up for pre-order, which we have seen originally teased just as a black and white render, seeing it for the first time in person, in color, with the mixed media on there. That looks really cool. Not a big statue collector, but I gotta admit, this is a really dope looking statue right here. And then brand new, still pending license or approval, it's Elvira. Again, just a statue, but a lot of great details on there. Two big ones in particular, and I think she is gonna be really nice piece for a lot of Elvira fans. And then down on bottom, we get to see the giant Godzilla that they've had up for pre-order for a couple of months now. This looks really, really nice. Huge piece. Definitely see how the articulation looks naturally on that body. I think that's going to be really dope and compliments the King Kong of Skull Island that they've had up for a while now. I think these two actually look really good in scale together right here. And there you go, guys. That has been a look at the Mezco Toys 112 Collective at San Diego Comic-Con 2022.